Hi, welcome to Notes from the Field, the Garden Continuum's video blog. I'm Monique Gowan, and today we're going to talk about deadheading. So what exactly is deadheading? It has nothing to do with the Grateful Dead, but it is an important part of ornamental gardening. And we've got two of my favorite plants. Actually, this is one of my favorite little collections. This is um, Hemerocallis Ice Dance, so the Ice Dance Daylily. This daylily only blooms one time, so it sets all of its flower buds. Each flower lasts for one day, and then it just blooms as long as there are buds, unlike some of those repeat bloomers that you'll learn about in the How to Deadhead a Daylily blog. This one, um, one thing that I'll just uh, share with you, if you have ever heard uh, the gardener's adage, a green thumb, that comes from using the thumbnail as a deadheading tool or a pinching tool. So if I just grab this past flower and put my thumbnail right at the base, then I can pinch this flower off. And so not talking about the green nail polish, but what happens is by going through and just deadheading the, the old spent flower blossoms off of the plant and sticking your thumbnail in there, that thumb turns green. So, one of my favorite collections, this is a Stilby Chinensis. Um, this one is Visions, and I love it. It's a beautiful, prolific flower, and it um, the buds to the flower, and even the seed heads are quite beautiful, and I tend to leave these seed heads up for a long time. Um, I'm going to show you another Stilby over here, and this one... Uh, I love this garden because there's so much texture in this garden, in the foliage itself. So we've got a beautiful variegated hosta, a variegated grass, and then this a still bee. This one is milk and honey, and it has these just creamy, gorgeous bottle brush flowers. But as you can see, when this one is done flowering, I find these seed heads a bit distracting. Now, a question that I get all the time from my clients as well as from my staff that are new staff members learning to garden is, do we deadhead still bees or don't we? Well, it's a yes and. It's yes we do and sometimes we don't. We want to determine whether those seed heads add value to the garden aesthetically, whether the client likes them, and or whether they're distracting. And in this case, I find them distracting and over with the visions, I actually like those seed heads and I leave them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this garden, so take a good look at what it looks like now. I'm going to go through this garden and deadhead it, and then you'll be able to see for yourself what it looks like without the flower heads. So I'm going to show you how to actually deadhead the astilbe. So again, I'm going to stick with these. As you can tell, they're my favorite. But these little snips work really well. The um, milk and honey astilbe is actually a really thick-stemmed astilbe, but many astilbes are really, really delicate and small, and so the snips work really, really well for those. Um, so if you look again at the anatomy of the flower, it's got a lot of flower here on the top, and then if you follow that stalk down, there's going to be one leaf at an intersecting point, and then initially that's where you're going to cut. And I say initially because you may not ultimately like what it looks like, but I'm going to do one more. Here's one here. You can see the little leaflet right at the bottom with a bit of a flower. We're going to go beyond this to the next one down. And I sort of like the way this one looks, but I don't like the way this one looks because it looks like a club, like a stub here. So I'm actually going to take that one down a little farther and I like how that looks better. So you initially will take the flower off at that first free leaf that's there, um, and then you'll determine whether you want to actually go down a little farther. So I'm going to go through this whole uh, grouping, and uh, I'll meet you on the other side. So now you can see without the seed heads how beautiful this garden looks. You actually don't miss them at all. The textures here are so nice. The variability between the grass and the astilbe foliage and the beautiful hosta with the variegation. I think that uh, deadheading is absolutely worth the time and that took me maybe five minutes. <laughs> 